In this short video, we'll be taking a look at Project Libra, an open source project management software package available for both Windows, Linux, and Mac operating platforms, which within the last year or so replaced OpenProj, same product by a different name. <coughs> project Libra is a Microsoft Project compatible project management software system. It can read Microsoft Project or .mpp files and is fairly suited to simple to moderately complex project management planning. It can support all the initiatives of the PMI Project Management Institute with regards to project management uh, standard practices and procedures and guidelines. Before getting into specifics of Project Libre project management software, it's important to review the systems development life cycle process. A lot of times it's not fully understood in terms of the iterative process that follows and that one phase of a project typically overlaps another. This is due to the need for feedback. There's usually not a large step off from one phase to another in terms of planning to analysis to design, to design for example, since when starting the next process there's usually some things found that need to loop back to the previous steps in order to ferret out a smooth plan and transition to the next step. Things can be missed, overlooked, there can be questions on scope, in later analysis and design modules of a systems development lifecycle you may find that there have been things that <clears throat> come up which are necessary for the project, there may be a necessary add-on, you may have to loop back to further stages and if it's something that's in terms of a question in terms of scope, you may have to roll back all the way to the uh, initial project plan to make sure that uh, any changes in scope go through a change control process where all the appropriate approvals are in place in terms of management approval, funding, and other items necessary to carry out the project plan. Project management software is basically specialized spreadsheet application. And oftentimes it's best to start with the spreadsheet in terms of roughing out project phases and work breakdown statements that make up a project. Here we see an Excel worksheet where we've roughed out uh, some initial planning and project team related phases along with some fit gap and design work, brown, work breakdown statements in those respective phases. Once we've got our spreadsheet fairly in place with respect to Project Libra, we can easily copy our work from the spreadsheet into Project Libre. Here we'll go ahead and copy the first two columns which contain our project statements, tasks, phase information, along with rough start dates. So once we've copied those first two columns with the statements and start date, we can click on the first row in Project Libre and do a paste of those items into our Project Libre Gantt view uh, system. We copy the task statements column and a start date 
because if we try to copy the first three, the finished column will not be correct. So now we can flip back to the spreadsheet. Go back to the top. Capture our end dates. Flip back to our Project Libra worksheet. Click on the first column in the finish date and do a paste to bring in our actual end dates from the spreadsheet. If we had copied all three columns from the spreadsheet, the finish dates we have not copied directly. So that's why we do it in two steps to copy the first and second columns that contain our phases and task statements that we've roughed out <clears throat> along with the start date. Now that we're done with the uh, worksheet, we can minimize that. Now we're ready to begin working strictly in Project Lead with the project management software. One of the first steps is normally to take our work breakdown statements, in, which are, have been separated by phases, and actually use indentation techniques to break out the work breakdown statements within, particularly, within particular phase segments. And we'll do a couple of those here. Well, the first thing we'll do is open up the name column so we can fully see the phase and work breakdown with WBS naming. We see one phase here, requirements gathering, and two specific WBS statements under that which relate to that. By highlighting both of those and then choosing indent by right, right clicking on the first work column, <clears throat> we can indent those and show requirements gathering as a phase with two sub, sub statements under the phase. And we'll see that over on the Gantt chart side, which is basically a horizontal bar chart showing length of work required to, to do a particular task, that underneath the individual statements, <clears throat> each phase has a black horizontal bar. Its width is determined by the duration of the subtask underneath. With respect to the task area, we can see that it's broken into weeks, and for usually it's good out to start on a quarterly basis. So we will zoom out by clicking zoom out. Until we get to a a quarterly picture of the Gantt chart, which will be easier to work with once we start stretching out our task. We really hadn't fully developed the duration of days for each of our work breakdown statements. And we'll be doing that for it from this point on. So for example, in determining database requirements, we have zero days. More likely, it's going to be in the area of 35 days. We just type in 35 in duration. And we'll see that the bar is automatically adjusted. And you'll see that the sum of the two statements work breakdown statements under the phase of requirements gathering equals the length of all individual work items underneath. The start and end times can be adjusted by clicking so you got all four points of a movement arrow into a different time period and the length but start the start date can be left alone the length can be done by just dragging it on the right side of the bar and you'll see that the days is automatically adjusted
So <clears throat> the duration of a task can be adjusted either by inputting a number of days, by adjusting the start and finish dates, and or just by moving the entire work duration or adjusting the length of the duration on the Gantt's chart side and that automatically takes care of the entries on the spreadsheet side of the project management total Gantt view in this particular case. We'll go back now and create some more phases with their subsequent underlying work task. And as you can see, we can click on multiple items and indent all at the same time to more clearly show our phases. Here we've uh, finished working on this particular project from an initial project administration standpoint, requirements gathering, gathering, fit gap, that is defining work breakdown statements relative to fitting differences, for example, in a vendor delivered piece of software and what we have to customize to meet the requirements of the project and design phases related to taking the fit gap analysis and turning it into, those, into particular products, whether they be new panels or screens in a particular system, reports, interfaces, uh, table update programs, uh, custom query mechanisms, things of that nature. You can see on a Gantt chart on the right side a horizontal bar chart describing the length of particular work down breakdown statements. And you can see how a the overlaps exist between the different phases of the project, referring back again to how in the SDLC process it serves a continuous feedback process when issues come up or confirmation is needed on a particular statement or sets of statements within a phase. Uh, with regards to forward planning. If problems or questions arise, there's a loop back to the previous phase, say from analysis design, or from construction back to design, design back to analysis, analysis back to project planning activities, how far back it has to go, depending upon how much was missed or how far down the process the issue came up. If something new comes up halfway through the SDLC process, you might have to go back a few steps to properly implement that phase or addition to the phase in the project itself. This concludes our first easy look at Project Libra project management software.